Alright, this is just going to be a quick video on the mm -hmm. Shelly 1PM for how to wire it for DC loads. Um, the documentation out there is incredibly slim and I had to just kind of figure this out on my own. So, just for everybody else's sake, here it goes. I uh, apologize for the wiring coloring. It would have been nice to have had black and red wiring to make everything simple. But just uh, think red and green for Christmas and black and white for just black and white. Um, load on here is just going to be it's a 24 volt battery for the DC controls and then just a, a 24 to 12 volt step down converter for some projects that I'm doing on the greenhouse anyways uh, Wago wire nuts if you haven't played with these these are freaking fantastic literally just boom pop that open there's your wire they're secure we push this back in here get back in there and then clip and those are secure so better than wire nuts a whole lot of hassle saved. Um, so what do we got? we got? Your positive is going to go in on your neutral. Well, you'd say and you'd think neutral, but that's where our positive is going to be. The uh, ground, which is our line in here, we're going to feed into a line. So this is going to provide our power for the Shelly 1PM. And then our load, we're going to feed here into the switch. And that's the that's the power that we're gonna then supply goes out to on on our zero here or O that's gonna go out to our actual load here. So our power for the load, our positive, is gonna be on the same wire nut, but this is gonna actually trigger it through here on the ground line. Hopefully, it's not too confusing. If it is, if you're actually watching this and you have questions, go for it. And then once the Shelly 1PM is all configured and in your app, you can go to town and you'll see in a second here my uh, LED grow lights I'm going to be testing with and seeing how these work. The, I've already configured the relay. It should be online. All right. So it may or may not have been the battery, but I got it the front. So we can see that. You can hear that audible click you can see there's my test strips so that's all there is to it you have a Wi-Fi DC controlled relay um, not the cheapest option out there but it is a nice sealed compact unit fairly easy to set up pretty inexpensive I think the two pack was maybe 20 or 30 dollars uh, shipped from Bulgaria so lovely company to work with all their products are Linux based and uh, you know so yeah Go for it. Have some fun, and that's how you wire it for DC loads. Goodbye.